In AutoCAD architecture, there are several different ways to add and modify interior walls in our project. Let's review some of these. The first way to create new walls is to use the Wall tool on the Home tab Build panel. This Wall tool uses the standard style. I'll use it to draw a perpendicular wall in the room above the elevators. Right-click and press Enter to end the command. The new and existing walls clean up correctly because within these different styles the component priorities are consistent. The two existing walls are in an external reference file and there is a setting in the wall cleanup group style which allows this to occur. We can't match the new wall to the external reference wall styles, but they are the same style as the corridor wall in this file. I'll select the corridor wall and from the Home tab Modify panel, I'll pick the Match Properties tool, then select the new wall I drew, right click and click Enter to end the command. Now let's start a new wall using an existing wall in the file. First, I'll pick the corridor wall. Then on the Wall tab, General Panel, I'll click the Add Selected tool. Using the midpoint on the exterior wall, I'll then pick the interior corridor wall. Right click and click Enter to end the command. The new wall's justification line does not meet the exterior walls and needs to be extended to it. To fix this, I'll select the new wall. Then, using the lengthen arrow grip, I'll drag it to the justification line of the exterior wall. Then press the escape key. The walls now clean up. To change a wall's style after creation, for example, to change the last wall to a CMU-8 furring wall style, in the walls palette, I'll right click on that style tool. From the Apply Tool Properties 2 menu, I'll click the Wall option. At the Select Walls prompt, I'll pick the last wall I drew. I'll right-click, then press Escape, and we'll see that the stud and gypsum wallboard components clean up properly, but because the CMU wall's components priority is a lower value than the brick in the exterior wall, it is masking the brick. To adjust this, I'll select the CMU wall and on the Wall tab Cleanup Panel drop-down, I'll click the Priority Override tool to open the Priority Overrides dialog box. The studs in the exterior wall have a priority in the 500 range, so I'll change the brick component to a higher number, which is a lower priority. I'll click the Add button on the upper right, and from the Component drop-down, I'll click the CMU component. For the override, I checked earlier that I needed at start of wall and I'll change the priority value to 600 then click OK. The CMU component is now masked by all of the exterior wall components with lower priority values. We've seen some different ways to add and modify interior walls. You may use the wall tool from the Home tab build panel. You may select an existing wall and choose add selected from the wall tab general panel. After placing walls, you may use the Match Properties tool to paint one wall's style onto another. You may also select a wall tool from the tool palettes, right-click, and use the Apply Tool Properties 2 option to change a wall's style.